In this video I want to show you how easy it is using Logger Pro to customize your error bars. If we double click on one of the column headers we can see that under the options tab we can quite easily include fixed values for error bars or even percentage values for error bars but also there is an option to use a column as well. So what I intend to show you here is how we can actually generate a column of uh, specific or customized error bars for each data point. Firstly, I'm going to average my data. So I'm going to put a new calculated column here and I'm going to call it my average extension uh, with a short name x and the unit centimeters and I'm going to tell the calculated column how to work out the average extension. What I need to do is I need to tell it to add the three columns together here and then uh, divide by three. So I'm going to go to the variables columns trial one plus trial two plus trial 3, close the bracket and divide by 3 and we should have our average values here in, uh, in this next column. Now to work out the uncertainty in these values from the random error we have what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply subtract the minimum value from the maximum value and I'm going to divide by 2 and that's going to give me an idea of my uncertainty in the measurement. So I'm going to insert a manual column here. I'm going to calculate this manually. So I go to data, new manual column, and I'm going to call this uncertainty in extension uh, with a short name. I'm going to call this delta x. So Greek upper, there's my delta x, and the units are still centimeters. So that's fine, I've got that column, and now I'm going to have to work these out manually. So the first one, we can see the maximum is 2.5, the minimum is 2.2, the difference is 0 0.3, half of that is 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and I'm going to do that for all of the data points. So I've finished calculating those, and you can see that they're, they're all different, there's quite a range of, of values there, ranging from uh, 1 to 0 0.05, so it might not be appropriate to have a single sized error bar for all of these data points. So it's very easy, as I said, to actually tell Logger Pro to have a customized error bar for each data point. And we're going to use this column to actually do that. Firstly, I'm going to plot my average values. At the moment, I'm plotting trial one against the force, and I want my, my average values. My average values are this orange column here. So average extension, select that. So that's my average values there. Now I need to assign an uncertainty to these uh, average values. So I'm going to double click at the top of the column for the average extension. And I get this window here. Click on options, error bar calculations. So they're fixed values, they're not percentages. And I'm going to use the column to, to uh, fill in the error bars. Click on the down arrow here and we can choose any column we want but of course we want the, ex the uncertainty in the extension down the bottom there. So I'm going to select that, hit done and what we can see is that the error bars have been put on and they're, they're different in size. We can see that we have uh, some larger ones, this one here, this corresponds to the uncertainty of plus or minus 1, whereas we've got a very small one next to it here, plus or minus 0 0.05, we can barely see it. The important thing is we can see that they're all different. From this point now, of course, we can go ahead and add our uh, linear trend line, and we can add maximum and minimum fits uh, as well. Let's add a maximum fit trend line. So we're going to 
the linear one there and we're going to adjust it so that it's as steep as uh, we can get in the whilst keeping in the uh, error bars there we go let's drop this one down a little bit and increase that a little that looks about right maybe a little steep and we'll put in one for the minimum uh, slope too bad. Just rearrange this here. We can see we have two manual fits for the maximum and minimum and our linear fit for the for the best fit. So that is how to apply custom error bars to your data in Logger Pro.